Um, they do estimate that it will surpass the NFL. So we'll see. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. They had an Overwatch video game tournament in uh, Brooklyn. Sold out the Brooklyn Nets arena. So let's, let's, it's real. It's and, real. and I do recall, like, during the early stages of the pandemic when there was really nothing on TV, we or had sports. Yeah, the Madden and the um, 2K tournaments that was on ESPN. So oh, yeah. I'm guessing that's going to be the future eventually is that it's going to be on television on a oh, regular basis. Oh, very, very big, very big. It's definitely the future. Um, when you think about the fact that esports is becoming, well, it's a varsity sport in Georgia and uh, eventually it would be in every state. Okay. Right. Um, and when you think about the facts, the fact that kids get money to go to college, they gave away about 15, 16,000 in uh, 2018, 2019, and it, it keeps going up every year, the amount of money and scholarships you get. Um, the fact that kids playing video games, receiving millions of dollars to go to school, that's new in itself, right? right. So it kind of changes the old perspective we have about video gaming and it being something that's a waste of time. No, it's professional. Um, when we had the, uh, the Call of Duty tournament for Atlanta Phase, we had several NFL uh, sports agents show up because they wanted to manage esports athletes. You see what I'm saying? So it is the future. It is the future of arena play. Um, you have millions of viewers all the time online, constantly. Mm -hmm. So it's the future. And it was pandemic proof, okay? Even though we didn't do the in-person arena play, the Call of Duty tournaments went online and increased in viewership tremendously. You know, so yeah, it's growing nonstop. 